Hey everybody, Brenda from Bella Buddha Yoga here, just setting up for our live chair yoga class. So I don't have my uh, glasses on, so I'm not gonna be able to see if you're here or not. And especially since I'm gonna be over there, I won't be able to really be able to see you and, and, and say hi. But um, if you're watching, go ahead and like it if you like it, love it if you love it. Um, I'm glad you're here and we'll be starting in a few minutes and uh, just getting everything settled in. I was trying to get the music to play at the same time, but it doesn't let me do this and music at the same time. So I'll just have, we'll just have to wing it in silence, which is actually a pretty nice place to be these days. It's too much going on out there for me. So I actually like the silence. I uh, kicked my husband lovingly out the front door and he took the dogs. So it's nice and quiet here, unless the cat decides to act up but hopefully she won't oh and guess what here comes Bart he forgot something that's all right I was expecting it so anyway we'll be starting in a few minutes um, let's see let's see I'm still playing here is anybody there if you're there will you just like like it or say something because from what I'm seeing I can't see a single person I don't know if anyone's even there I don't even know if this is working <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go check the time and I'll be right back all right so hold on grab your water be right back Gloria and Sally, hi. Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm excited. Okay, so thanks for joining me on our very first live streaming chair yoga class on Facebook. Super happy, super excited, glad you could be here. So it's nice to keep the practice going when we can't get to our studio, right? And it's no fun doing it by yourself. It's I can't do it by myself, I have to have somebody with me or watching it live, putting on a video, just my attention span is like maybe 15, 20 minutes and then I'm done. So anyway, I hope that this will um, give us a chance to connect and I'm gonna try to get most of our chair classes live at our regularly scheduled time. So um, while people are showing up, I just invite you to Find yourself a chair. Find yourself a nice, stable, comfortable chair, one that doesn't have wheels on it, and hopefully one that doesn't have arms on it. So you wanna be free, right? So this one's stable. I've got my little pads on the bottom so it's not gonna slide out from under me. Feet. If you have socks on, just be mindful that socks are slippery, okay? So we prefer to do our practice barefoot if you feel comfortable taking your shoes and socks off, then that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Keep your shoes and socks on, but just be mindful of that, all right? So once you find your chair, I invite you just to sit up nice and tall. Let your feet connect into the earth. And then just close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice breath in and just lie it out. And maybe a couple more of those. You can let it out audibly. Nobody's listening to you anyway, right? So just um, give yourself permission to be here. Give yourself permission to arrive on your chair. Taking a break from all the commotion, taking a break from the TV and the noise and the drama. Just give yourself this moment to just be here for you. Right? And just begin to tune in with your own breath. Noticing where in the body you feel the breath take place. It could be the nose, it could be the chest, the heart, it might be the belly. 
So I invite you to actually place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Relax your shoulders. Take a few more breaths, just tuning in and making your transition from the things that have already taken place this morning to the present moment. Allowing yourself to just be here now. Just be here. And begin to notice any physical sensations you're experiencing in the body. Does the heart feel like it's beating rapidly? Do you feel any tension in the shoulders? Do you feel like you might be hanging on to tension somewhere in the body? And if you do, that's okay. It's okay. It's there. It happens to everybody. We all feel anxious. We all feel nervous. So just acknowledge that. And just let it go with the breath. You can keep your hands here if you feel comfortable. Go ahead and let the hands rest on your thighs. Bringing awareness to the feet. Maybe lift up your toes. See if you can lift your toes, maybe spread them wide. And then slowly place the toes back down. And then drawing that awareness up the lower legs, up the thighs, coming to the hips. And as you breathe in, maybe feel a little lengthening in the side body in your waist. And although if we lengthen through the waist, we keep the shoulders soft. So the arms, just imagine the bones of the arms are just heavy. Just let them be heavy. Let them relax. Gently drawing the belly in. So we can use those abdominal mus muscles to give us the posture that we need, the lift and support that we need to stay tall. And then find some length in the back of the neck. So maybe just tucking the chin slightly, you can place the fist right underneath your chin on your, this little thing here. I forgot what it was. Sternocleido notch or something like that. Someone will tell me. All right. So just a slight tucking of the chin, feeling the crown of the head lift up towards the sky. And just find your perfect posture here. Take another nice breath in and out. And then take a moment just to set an intention for your practice or set an intention for how you wish to be today. What kind of energy do you wish to bring to the world? What kind of energy? And then just let your body physically feel what that energy feels like. So if you wish to feel peaceful, what does peacefulness feel like in your body? Good. And then dipping your chin down towards your chest, just find a nice lengthening in the back of the neck here. I'm gonna have you just slide your chin over to look over that left shoulder. I'll be mirroring you here, so you'll just move in the same direction I am. And then when you're ready, just dip that chin down across the chest till you're looking over the right shoulder. Good. And going nice and slow, staying connected with your breathing, just continue to flow back and forth from side to side. Noticing how it feels in the neck. Maybe one side feels tighter than the other. And just notice that. No need to question why. No need to criticize why. Just notice. Oh, I'm feeling a little tight there. I'm feeling a little tight right here. Oh, good. And then dip the chin back down towards the chest and lift your head back to center. Let's take those arms down by your side and just shake the arms out, release the wrists. We carry a lot of tension in our joints, right? So just shake out those wrists. Notice how good that feels. It's so simple, but it feels good, right? And flick out those fingers. 
it's kind of like, you know, when you see these little kids, like these two-year-olds, and they're all hyperactive and they're jumping all over the place, but they're really releasing a lot of stress. Sometimes we try to hide our stress and just be still, so it's good to shake it out. In fact, we're gonna do some shaking out, all right? Okay, so let those arms come down by your side. Take a nice breath in and just reach up just to the place where it feels good for you. Take a nice breath in and exhale, just float the arms down. Good, so breathing in, allow the arms to follow the breath as you lift up. And exhale, let the arms just float back down by your side. <sighs> so inhaling, finding the stretch, lengthening through the arms, opening up those armpits. And exhale, let the arms just float through space as they come down by your side. All right, so we're gonna add some twists, so breathing in, take it up. And as you exhale, just a gentle turning to your left, let your right arm come to the left thigh, and then your left hand can just come down by your chair here. So a little twist, little twist. Not overly twisting in the neck, so the neck can just be neutral. You don't have to look over that shoulder. Taking a breath in, reach up, and exhale, float the arms over to the right. <sighs> and then find your breath, find your movement pattern, and then twist with me a few rounds. Go at your own pace. Good. You don't have to worry about who's doing what because you're probably just doing this by yourself with me anyway, right? So again, just give yourself permission to be here. Just be here. And your plant, hello plant. Good. Nice, reach those arms back up to the sky. I'm gonna have you interlace those fingers, press the palms up. Good. Now, you might be here, depending on what's going on with your shoulders, you might be here, you might be here. Maybe the elbows don't straighten all the way. I don't know what's going on with your elbows and shoulders today, but you do, so you find the place that feels good. Maybe lift those arms up, maybe press up, maybe lean back, maybe not. Good. And then let the palms come forward, straight arms. Find a gentle rounding of the upper shoulders, broadening here. And then we're gonna find a little flow. Inhale, open that heart. Maybe look up towards the sky. Exhale, a gentle rounding, broadening the shoulders. Feels good to find that release there. Couple more. Ah. Good. And again, inhale, reach it up. And then just float the arms back down. Ah. Good. All right, so hands are gonna come to your thighs. We're gonna uh, move those joints here. So taking your right foot, you're gonna slide it underneath your chair. See if you can get on the tops of your toes. I know, it's everybody's favorite move. I know, not. So anyway, see if you can get on the tops of your toes. If you can't, don't worry about it. But from here, start to rotate that ankle. And notice how the movement's actually coming from the hip, right? So it's the hip, it's the whole leg. You wanna see if, how much movement you can get here. Trying to get on the toes. I know it's not comfortable. But do it anyway. All right. And then reverse it. Good. All right. And then we're going to switch legs. So right foot flat, knee over ankle. Take that left foot back on the tops of those toes. Here we go. Rotating that ankle, trying to get on top of the toes if you can. But we're in the, the foot police aren't. Uh, watching today so don't worry if you can't reverse direction all right good let those feet come back to center this is our tadasana our starting pose again finding that length in the waist here relax the shoulders we're going to start to draw a circle with the nose circle with the nose so loosening up the cervical spine, which is the very top part of the spine. You can take the circle as big as is comfortable. However, if you find some snap, crackle, and pop, which we all do, make your circle smaller. So it's not about how big you can do it. All right. And 
how's that breath? Stay connected with the breath. Good, reverse the circle. Good, and then coming back to center here. Shoulders, next joint to be moved. We're gonna take the shoulders up towards the ears and roll them forward. We're gonna start this way. So breathing in, lift them up and around, coming forward, nice job. I wish I had my glasses on so I could see what y'all are saying. Next time I'm putting my glasses on. But even then, I don't know if I could see what you're saying. But I'm glad you're there and I'm glad you're commenting. But do the practice. Oh, so just make these shoulder circles as big as you like or as small as is comfortable, okay? If you're feeling it, you're doing it, right? So if it's right here and this feels good, that's where it is, that's where it's at. All right, so reverse the circle. Shoulders shrug up, back and down, up, back and down. Just enjoy this. Enjoy it. You can do one, one shoulder at a time, one and the other, one and the other. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite acupressure moves. I really like it a lot. I'm going to share it with you. And that is to take your right hand, bring it to the top of your shoulder, right? And just press down here. You might uh, feel some tension. It might be back farther here. It might be more on top. It might be here, right? So find uh, where you might feel a little sensation, okay? And just press into that, not too much, just a little bit. Just press. And then take your that um, same shoulder, it'll be your left shoulder. You're going to shrug it up, back, and down up, back, and down. It's the poor man's massage, right? Ah. Good, and then maybe move the fingers a little bit, maybe find a different spot. Again, this is my, uh, my shoulder that's giving me the most sensation today. I can actually feel a little, little something in there as I roll my fingers over that space, like a little hill. And then take it to the other side. So just find a place. Might not be as um, sensitive. Maybe it's more sensitive. I don't know. So start to roll that shoulder up, back, and down. Just going to where it feels good, though. Not trying to hurt ourselves. Just want to move gently. Move gently. Good. Ah. <sighs> and squaring yourself off draw that belly in taking the arms you're going to bring them forward see if you can get the elbows to touch palms are together here interlace those fingers notice which thumb is in front i've got my you'll, you'll i have my um right so it would be your left okay so you're going to keep the elbows as shoulder height if possible if not you can bring them wherever they need to be all right and then from here rotate those uh wrist wrist circles it can be slow, it can be quick. Again, looking for full range of motion. All right, so here's the teaser. See which thumb is on top of the other one? I want you to put, I want you to undo the fingers and relace the fingers with the other thumb in front. And then remember which direction you were going? I want you to go the other way. So you'll know you're doing it the other way if it feels really weird, okay? If it feels the same and you don't feel any difference, you're probably going the same direction you were before. <laughs> so it's kind of a brain teaser here. Uh, arms are getting a little tired. Yeah? All right, feels good to move. Okay, let the hands come back down. Make sure you don't have anything in your way here. We're going to start to work on some rotation of the rib cage and thoracic the thoracic cavity here, All right? So you might want to just put your hands here, get to know what that feels like. This is a very tight part of the body. It's a, the thoracic cavity is, is stiff for a reason. It's protecting our heart, lungs. There's lots of, lots of delicate stuff in there. So there's not a lot of movement. So anyway, so just find some gentle move here. And then let the hands come down by your side. And then just continuing with that practice, you're going to start to take your left hand. It's going to reach over, tap the right shoulder. Right hand's going to reach behind and tap the 
um, low back on the opposite side, all right? So we're gonna tap and twist, twist, twist. Now, just thinking about the um, upper body here, you can keep your gaze forward like I am right now, or if you want, you can add a little twisting. You can look over the shoulder you're tapping. But don't over twist that neck. We do too much of that. Good. Just a couple more here. <sighs> I have my doTERRA frankincense oil burning, diffusing over here. I shouldn't say burning, and it smells so good. As Gloria knows, it cost a million dollars. <laughs> All right, coming back to the center, but hey, it's worth it, right? All right, splurge on yourself, you're, you're, you deserve it. Okay, so next one we're gonna do here is taking the hands to the hips, sit up tall, root down through the feet. So as if you had roots growing through the soles of your feet, you're gonna connect with the earth here, keep that belly in, and just let the top half of the body move in a circle. So it's not a hula hoop of the hips, it's just, it's coming from the hip bones, the pelvis, just making a nice big circle, keep that belly in. You can probably feel your abdominal muscles working here, right? When you stay up tall, you come forward like, whoa, leaning back. You gotta engage that core to keep you lengthened. Let's reverse the circle. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, because I know there are some of you out there that do, bring your hands behind your head. Makes it a little harder to stay tall. Enjoy the challenge, just enjoy the challenge. Yeah, all right. Coming to stillness. Nice, we're gonna have, I'm gonna have you bring your feet together. So uh, big toe edges of the feet are touching, knees are touching. You're gonna come up onto the balls of the feet. So you gotta walk them back just a little bit. Hands can stay on the kneecaps gentle or bring them to the thighs. And from here, we're just gonna move them in a circle. Move them in a circle. Good. Try to keep the big toes down. Sometimes those toes wanna lift up. Good, reverse it. Oh. I keep thinking I forgot something, but maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna come back, feet flat. I'm gonna keep the hands on the thighs. And then from here, just thinking, uh, imagining a, a slinky. Who didn't have a slinky growing up? Well, I hope everybody had a slinky growing up. So you know how they just moved one little thing at a time? We're gonna try to do that with our spine. So as you breathe in, you're just gonna start to hinge forward, little slinky slinky, and then a gentle rounding, coming back, coming back up the stairs, going down the stairs. Good, let it be slow. It can be a small movement, like you can keep it right here. It can be here. Or maybe it's a little bit bigger. Now to really rock your world here, you can have your arms down by your side. And as you come forward, just let the arms dangle. Dangle, dangle, dangle. Don't let the head come below the heart. If it does, it's okay, but I'm just trying to keep you lifted here. So maybe arms just dangle. Huh. And back up. Good, and again. Nice hands come to the thighs. Let's take a nice breath in, reach it up. I hope you're feeling better already, right? I was a little nervous starting this video and now I feel like smooth and easy, feel good. All right, so let's hug this right knee into the chest. Good, hug it in. And from here, I want you to take a peek at your toes. Notice how I need a pedicure. I don't think that's happening for a while. So go ahead and just wave, wave to me with your toes. Wave, I want to see you. Wave to me with your toes. Nice, good. Hug it in, feel your shoulder blades drawing together to keep your posture tall. So you're gonna hug the knee in, and then as you exhale, extend the foot. Sorry, my foot's in your face now. So uh, lift that leg up, press through the heel. So breathing in, hug it in, and exhale, extend. Good, if this is too much, don't worry about it. You can just slide the foot in, and slide the foot out. Slide the foot in and slide the foot out. Remember I said if you're feeling it, you're doing it, right? So it doesn't matter. It could be here, right? It could be here. 
They could be here, right? So find what works for you. <sighs> Just enjoy the stretch. Enjoy being here. Good. And then hug this knee in. Give it a squeeze. Give yourself a little squeeze. Just dip your head down. Maybe you touch your nose to your knee. Maybe that's making you laugh. I don't know. <laughs> Good. Lower that side. Take your left knee and give it a hug. Good. And here we go with those toes. Wave to me with your toes. Squeeze, 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 open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open. It's not so easy if we've been wearing shoes our whole entire life, right? They, those toes get a little stuck. Right? So we're just practicing. Good. So hug it in, nice little squeeze, breathe in, and exhale, extend that leg just to your own degree. invite you to close your eyes for a few rounds if you like. Take this moment just to connect with your breath, marrying breath with movement, your own body. Good, hug it in and lower it down. All right, so let's take Let's do, since it's gloomy, well, I don't know where you're watching from, but it's a little gloomy here today. But that's okay, it's still a nice day, right? Every day is a nice day that you're breathing. So we're gonna do a few rounds of sun salutation, all right? So let's just keep this body moving. I'm gonna take a nice breath in, reach it up. You can look up if you like. Exhaling, coming to a forward fold. Now, you might just bring the elbows here to the lap. This might be the forward fold, all right? Breathing in, or maybe your forward fold is reaching for your toes. If that doesn't sound like a good idea, then why would you do it, right? Don't do it if it doesn't feel right. Good, so from here, interlace those fingers. You can't see me. Interlace the fingers, make a steeple with your index fingers, lift it up, and slide that right foot underneath the chair. Maybe it feels better to have the hands here, and that's perfectly fine, right? Honor your shoulders where they are today. So lifting up, oh, it might feel a nice stretch in the side body. Ah, and then both feet flat, flex your wrist and press forward. And I want you to press as if you were pressing your palms into me. So we're gonna press and lengthen. And the feet are strong, the legs are strong, so much so that if I asked you to uh, lift your tushy up a little bit, you could, but not that you have to. And then lower back down if you're lifted. Hug the elbows in and tuck your chin. Good, breathe in. Open up those arms. These are your uh, goal post arms. Maybe look over that right shoulder. And maybe look over the left. Oh, this side's tight. And then looking forward, you're gonna straighten the arms, flex the wrist, take one foot forward, if you feel safe on the chair, you'll take the other foot forward. Have a little bend in the knees. You can put the feet flat or you can lift the toes. So you'll have to see what feels best in your body. So lifting the arms up, trying to get them on the outsides of your ears, breathing in. And as you exhale, hinge forward. So you're making like a, like an upside down, well, not, well, like a weird shape V, right? Weird shape V. Good. So arms, if they're down here, that's fine if that's where they need to be. Otherwise, challenge yourself, see if you can keep them lifted. It's harder, I know, it's hard. Breathe. Good, reach it up, bring the feet flat. Slide the left foot under the chair again, interlace those fingers, come up to your own degree. Lift up, lengthen, maybe lean back, maybe not. Oh boy, both feet flat, here's that forward fold. Find the one that works for you. On the thighs or reaching for toes, I don't know. Breathe in, sweep up, palms together. <sighs> Hands to your heart, good. So I invite you to close the eyes for just a moment and tune in with your breathing. Notice that sweet breath. Nice 
nice peaceful breath and to know that it's always there anytime we need it. Anytime you're feeling stressed or chaotic, give yourself permission to just stop and breathe. Sounds simple enough if we don't do it. All right, so we're gonna go through another round of that sun salutation, all right? So take a breath in, sweep those arms up, and exhaling to your forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, slide that right foot back, lift up. Good, and feet flat, flex the wrists, straight arms, press it forward. Good, and then draw those elbows back. Find a little squeeze of the shoulder blades, neck is long. Breathe in, open up the heart, open up the heart, nice. Look over that left shoulder and the right. Good, facing forward, straightening the arms, flexing the wrists, legs come forward, nice breath in. Exhale, hinge just to where it feels good. I'm gonna have you take three breaths here, three. Feel free to sigh it out. Nice, reach back up. Feet flat, slide that left foot under. Lift up. Oh boy, feet flat. Where's your forward fold? Oh, let it go. Inhale, sweep them up, palms together and hands to the heart. <sighs> Again, just notice the breath. Hmm. All right, hands come back to your thighs. You're gonna change things up a little bit. I'm gonna have you heel toe your feet apart. Just go to where it feels good. It doesn't have to be too much, just a little bit, all right? So um, I want you to be aware of your posture here. So a lot of times when we're in this V shape, the knees flop in. Now that probably doesn't even look right, right? Doesn't even look right. So you wanna make sure that the knees are over the ankles, okay? And you also want to press down through the pinky edges of your feet. That will help you keep these inner thighs working, which is what we want, okay? Now let your hands come to your thighs. Thumbs are on the inside, fingers are on the outside. You're gonna take a nice breath in here. Listen to me being bossy. You're gonna take a nice breath in here. <sighs> Maybe you're gonna do an exhale here, I don't know. Okay, so lifting up nice and tall. Press through the pinky edges of your feet. And then when you're ready, reach your nose over your toes, swing your heart around to the right foot and back up. Good, and then reverse it. Hinging nose over right toes, swing the heart around to the left foot and up. Okay, I'll do a few rounds here going back and forth. As you come up, maybe you bring the head up to the sky and look over that left shoulder as you dip to the left, swing the heart around. I'm going in the same direction now, aren't I? And I said to do opposite. Ah, here we go. Hey, it's yoga practice, not yoga perfect. Good, let's do another one. Good, can you feel those inner thighs? Yeah, press the knees open, good. Hands to the heart. Actually, I have a cushion on my seat and I probably shouldn't. So I want you to bring the hands to the heart here and with a nice solid foundation, start to hinge forward and back. So as you hinge forward, you can feel the weight go in those legs, right? It's not always that easy. Good, so just practicing here. You can go forward and back and just keep doing this because this is a great place to be. Or maybe you come forward and you bring the elbows inside the thighs, maybe. Keeping the thumbs at your sternum, if possible. And keep the neck long, so just keep a little slight tuck in the chin. You can stay here, or maybe you bring the hands to the ankles, maybe. 
and use the elbows to press the legs a little bit wider. And breathe. Nice, everybody. Press the feet down to support yourself. Slide the left, uh, right hand to the right thigh, left hand to the left thigh, and hinge to come back up. Good, take those arms out to the side. Bend the elbows. Good, let's spread the fingers wide just to get some space here. Press the knees wide, lift the heart up. Tuck that chin. So crown of the head's reaching up to the sky. Very powerful goddess pose here, goddess pose. Good, straightening the arms. I'm gonna have you uh, leave the legs where they are. Let's reach to the right, reach to the left, reach to the right. Lower that right hand down. Hopefully you have a chair leg you can hold on to. Take the left arm and reach up. Good. Now with your head, you can look up, if that's okay with your neck. You can look forward. You can look down. On your next breath in, I want you to reach up, lift yourself up and out of the posture. Arms come out. Good, you're gonna reach over to the left. Keep this uh, right butt cheek down. Don't let it lift up like that. So push it down. Good, push down through that right foot too. And then lower that left hand to the chair leg. Right arm reaches up, knees are wide. Good, maybe you walk your hand down the chair leg, maybe not. Maybe you scratch your face, I don't know. Just don't touch your eyes. Reach up. Good, reach up and out of the posture. Nice job, hands come down. Let's heel toe these feet back in. Good, take a nice breath in. And out. And one more, reach it up. And out. Good. Take your, uh, um, let's heel toe the feet back together. All right. I'm going to cross that right ankle over the left. You're going to hug the thighs in. Okay. And then taking your arms out to the side, take this, uh, is it your left arm? You're going to cross it over the right. Just reach around, give yourself a hug. Just hug. Good. So hug the thighs in, little squeeze. Hug, wrap your hands around your shoulders. So from here, you can stay here, or maybe you hinge forward. Elbows coming to knees, but they don't have to. Good, take a nice breath in here. Good, lift it back up. Release the arms. You're gonna uncross the legs, cross the left foot over the right. Hug the thighs in together. Take your right arm over your left. Give yourself another hug here, wrap around. Breathe in. And if you want to, fold forward. Just enjoying the safety net of your own little cocoon here, right? does this pose make your body feel? That's the inquiry, right? We're just noticing how we feel when we do things without judgment. What comes up for you here? Does it feel safe? Good. Inhale, reach, lift up, release the arms. Let's uncross the legs. Good, float the arms back down. Let's just do a couple shoulder rolls. Ah, arms down. Let's take the uh, left arm, reach it up. So a nice long side body stretch here. Take your right fingers and just reach down. So just reach. Good. And then slowly see if you can get the arms to match as they switch. And take the right arm up, left arm down. Reach. Good. We're going to do one more on each side. So arms move in sync. Good, reach. Maybe dip. Reach. 
nice little exchange here. Take it up and reach. Good, lift it up. Let's switch. Let's bring the hands together at the heart. Fingers or thumbs at your sternum here. Remind yourself of the intention you set at the beginning of practice. How is that feeling right about now? Is it starting to resonate? Good, I hope so. Good. All right, let's take another breath in. Let's reach it up. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, stretch it out. Release the fingers, let the arms come into a nice wide V. Now notice your shoulders, are they hiked up? And if they are, just try to soften, try to soften, relax. There you go. So you've got the arms in a V and you're gonna open the arms, trying to get them on the outsides of your ears, okay? And then take the arms down as if you're just sliding down the back of a wall. You're gonna bring the um, arms to a W. Good, and then continue to slide the elbows in, making an L. Oh boy, can you feel that squeeze in the back? I hope so. And then release it into a T. Good, so lift up, V, palms face forward. Draw the elbows down, come to your W. And then draw the elbows in to your L. Good, belly in, strengthening the back. Release into T. Good, I'm gonna do a few more of those. These are great, this is a great exercise to do if you want to improve your posture. And who doesn't want to improve their posture? It's a lifelong, lifelong journey for that, right? Good, coming into an L. Gentle squeeze. Good, and release into T. Good, so up. Soften the shoulders. Sliding on down, hug it into L, release into T. That feels so darn good, at least does to me. V, W, L, and T. Good, lower the arms. Roll out that shoulder, roll out the other shoulder. Good, bring the hands to your thighs. Good, start to move in a circle. Nice big circle, belly in, reach it around. take it the other way. Good, and then coming back to center here. Nice, let's take a nice breath in, reach it up. Exhale, float the arms down. Nice, let your hands rest on your thighs. I invite you to close the eyes and just notice how you feel. No judgments, just notice. And then I would like you to bring awareness to the corners of your mouth and turn them up. Bring the palms together at your heart.
and silently thank yourself for your practice today and for showing up. And thank you for showing up with me. And then take another moment just to send out gratitude. There's so much to be grateful for. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. May all beings in all worlds live healthy, happy, and free. Namaste. Have an awesome day. We'll be doing this again tomorrow at our regularly scheduled time of 1030. So thanks for practicing and stay happy and healthy. Till next time. Bye.